Ohanyeze urge Peter Obi to support Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway Road Project. The Guardian Nigerian News. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline we brought for you this morning. As our headline for today says that Ohanyeze urges Peter Obi to support Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway Road Project. It is stated here that the Pan Ibo Social Cultural Organization on Haize in Digbo has urged former Governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, to support the 700 km Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway Road project being executed by the federal government. Obi, who was the presidential candidate of the Labour Party LP in the 2023 election, had on Monday said the construction of the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway Road was a misplaced of priority. In a series of posts on his post on his ex on his verified ex, Obi said that the government should focus on completing the countless abandoned road projects across the country. But in a statement issued on Tuesday by its Secretary General Mazi Okeshuku Oke in Ziguro, Onaize said to champion a new era of development and progress, there was a need for Obi to rally behind the transformative Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway Road project, an infrastructure revolution supported by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Minister of Work Senator Dave Umayi. The statement read, While diverse viewpoints are essential in a thriving democracy, it is imperat imperative to recognize and appreciate the commendation strides being made for visionary leaders such as Senator Dave Mahi, who exemplifies unwavering decision as a results-driven approach to, inf to infrastructure development. The current juncture presents a critical opportunity for Mr. Peter Obi to align with national development priorities and burst our much-needed infrastructure advancement for the benefit of all Nigerians. The historical backdrop of neglect and abandoned abandonment has the plunge of the Southeast since the aftermath of the Civil War in January 1970, underscored the, the urgency and revitalizing the region's true strategic infrastructure initiatives. The power power absence of existence, federal presence and deliberate occultism enjoyed by the Southeast demand is swift towards proactive engagement and comprehensive road construction projects that promise to usher the new era of progress and prosperity. The Secretary General said the organization was extending to her felt plea to obey and transcend partial divides and embrace a spirit of cooperation and unity in endorsing transformative national projects are made at improving the welfare and livelihood of all Nigerians. But now is the Indigo urge Mr. President Obi to heed the call of unity and progress, casting aside apprehension and embracing a spirit of solidarity and shared visions for a better Nigeria. The time for strategic alignment and collaborative action is now. We are collectively, we, we, as we collectively strive towards a future defined by prosperity, inclusive, and sustainable development, it said. The organization also noted that the utilization of innovative new comics, new cement technology is ongoing. Wood construction marks a significant departure from traditional approaches, sailing a fresh direction towards sustainable infrastructure development. The new fund exorcism and eagerness among Nigerians and Indibu for the advancement under the purview of Minister of Work Senator Dave Umahi demonstrates a collective resolve to embrace transformative method methodologies, methodologies to that promise lasting impact and widespread benefits, it added. And that is all we have under this headline, which says that Onaize urges Peter Obi to support the Lagos to Calabar Coastal Highway project.
As you can see right now, the people of the Anaise Indigo Group is urging the former president of Anambra State, that is Peter Obi, to support the 700 km Lagos to Kalaba Highway project, that is the Lagos to Kalaba Coastal Road project, that is being executed by the federal government. And the reason why Peter Obi is no fan or in no support of this PM Coastal Highway project is saying that the federal government are just wasting time and money on building a road that will not be completed in the next 20 not 30 years to come. Yes, he said that in his ratified speech, saying that the president said that if there are more abandoned roads, more abandoned highway roads that has been abandoned for over a decade now around the con around the country, saying that they should go back to the drawing board and try to finish those abandoned roads and make them developed already. That embarking on a new one, embarking on a new one that you guys will still abandon and leave over there. Yes, abandon and leave over there. So why do we waste? Why are you? Why do you plan on wasting the money on building a road that you will still abandon in the next twenty? That will not even be finished in the next twenty or thirty years. But in a statement issued on Tuesday by the Secretary General Mazi Okechukwu Nzirio of the Onaize Indigo People said to champion a new era of development he is trying to say that this road will champion a new era of development and progress there is a need for ob to rally behind the transformative lagos to calabar kosa Highway road and infrastructure revolutions spearheaded by president bola ahmed Tinibu and minister of work senator dave mahi the onaize indigo people are in full support of this um, infrastructure that the president is about to um, encounter and build right now and they are urging, they are urging Peter Obi to be in full support, but Peter Obi said no, he ain't gonna, he's, he's not going to support that type of project. And his statement reads that, while diverse viewpoints are essential in thriving democracy, it is very impressive to recognize and appreciate the commendable sides being made for visionary leaders such as Senator Dave Umahi, who exemplify unwavering decision as a result driven approach to infrastructure development. He's, the Onaize people said that this road, which the president is embarking, in, embarking on doing, will improve development in Nigeria. Yes, Peter Obi also said that it will improve development in Nigeria, but what if the federal government did not finish that road? It will worsen the ec Nigerian economy and it won't, bring any, it won't add anything to our economy, nor, nor, our, urban, or nor our urbanization or our, or our improvement as a nation. It would add anything to us, saying that the president or the federal government should go back to all those abandoned roads that has been abandoned over the country and try to finish them up, and then thinking, then now think about doing the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Road, because this is a very big project, and no one would like to see this project stop work or be abandoned. But what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment in the comment section concerning this, and don't forget to leave a like 